Rage on that beat, going crazy. for 10. We have a guy here who shows a lot of head movement defensively. Now there's three pillars to defense in boxing. What do you make of moving your head? Well, those three pillars is one moving your head, obviously. The other's blocking. The other's using your legs. When you're moving your head, usually you're looking to be aggressive. And now you see him scoring well with the right. <laughs> Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink, a little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes the fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone, and now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through this round here. What's the hook? Overhand right can be so effective. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Use the ring! Use the ring! At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Final 10 seconds of round number one. That's okay. Pay him back. Talking about being off the mark. If you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Scores up top with a left. The Giants' right hand working well that time. He scored well. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Go, go! The kid smacked up top. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Good, solid right hand lands. Big shot. He just went down. The end fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Two. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Scores with the uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. 
Oh, good exchange there. Keeps his hands up Stay defensively, focused, protecting the head. Yeah. Your back. Little setup punch. One, two, two jabs to the body. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Seconds to go here in the second round. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Good combination. The kid's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Good flush shot upstairs. Focus. Scored well up top. The kids put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three punch combination scoring. The Giants showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Halfway through this round, unable to score with the hook. Comes right back at him with a left hand. One, but gives one. Good work by the kid. Hook, hook. Able to dismiss that body shot. And he's Punch. holding. Keep moving. Pace yourself. Jump on him. Nice. Last 10 seconds of round number three. The kids in bad shape. Wake up. Giants in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, he may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. Well, his opponent keeps squaring up with him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it.
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities it. not on the front end, but on the back end. Hey, you gotta see that coming, let's go. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Unload! Unload! More punch! Flush right hand to the head. He's still the kid's so left, landing well. Flush right hand to the body. Halfway through round number four. Hey, gotta see that come in. Let's go. Left and right, left and right. Come on, bring it on. The Giants on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. That's okay. Let's go. The kid's got to figure out a way to do something different. Here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counter puncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counter puncher, an effective counter puncher, guy has to come close to you. But his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. The kid's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Move in, move in. Double up on your punches. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Little volume punching to the body there. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. The kid's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. The Giants making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. And he ties up on the inside. Yeah, that's it. The kid's not having this fight where he needs it to be. Teddy, it's well known that he's an inside fighter. Yeah, you know what? We know that he can't win on the outside. We've seen that already. His opponent has longer arms. He's just quick. He's better on the outside. If he cannot get inside and then he can't win in this inside, Oh, he can't win this fight, though. Keep moving. Keep moving. Halfway into round number five here. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah. Solid. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Stay on the inside. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. 
Relax, relax. Solid left hand to the head. Nice block. The Giants' defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, you take such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. Bang the body! Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has the feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Protect the midsection. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Giants so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very Unload. frustrating Unload. night Unload. for his punches. opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Makes that nice right angle on the receiving. Oh, that's got to hurt. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got off. Oh, what an exchange. He just missed that shot up top. Laying a trap there for a moment. And then he is dead solid. Can he be the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref is stopping this fight. The Giants not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim.